says my streaming is okay. Oh no, it's just the like I clicked pause or something, so it was paused. Okay, wait, four people? Uh you, Loki, Jody, and who's the fourth guy? <laughs> Because it doesn't count me as a viewer. I'm, I'm streaming. What you're about to see is a little tutorial that I put on display for my sister. Uh, month? Kitty. <laughs> yeah, it says months in. What? Why is months in? Maybe he just leaves the window open. How did you even find out? I just now started streaming. <laughs> this is for something that we now think is called four-point perspective, but we didn't know when I was recording. No, month, this is... This is artists only. <laughs> <laughs> Now that I know it's called Four Point Perspective, I'm going to look it up and start researching it a little more so I can get better at it. I recommend you do the same if you're an artist or not. Hello. <laughs> all right, Hello. there we go. So, all right, <laughs> the, I got the artist involved. Sorry, sorry, month. This really is about about art, arting. So let me explain this as best I can. Uh, I don't know what this is called. I think it's called Curved Perspective. The idea is, when you draw in perspective normally, you're drawing these straight lines, right? And you've got like, ooh, look at these straight lines, and it's going towards a vanishing point, and it all follows like this, this horizon, right? And so, this, this is how I was taught to do perspective. But, but this, this causes a little problem, because this is not how reality works. Reality does not have straight lines. There's no straight lines in nature. So let's say you're staring, you're staring at a wall, right, in a hallway. The, the hallway just kind of kind of looks like this, right? You've got this. There, there, this is your hallway, and it just goes, you know, infinitely this way and infinitely this way. And this is cool when you, you're staring at the hallway in, 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 uh, in straight on, and all you see is a wall, right? And that's fine for the most part. If you look down the hallway, you see, like, the vanishing point, and you see the, uh, the, the two walls on either side of you go forever towards that vanishing point. But now the question is, what if you want to look... What, what if you want a panoramic? How do you draw a panoramic in this style? You can't, because you have your vanishing point here, and then the vanishing point gives you a straight line, but that's not how that works, because you turn your head, and you've got... A straight line of a wall that that doesn't work there's got to be a better way right so here's what I was taught this and this is why I kind of think it's cool is that in in reality in perspective uh, things curve and I know this is like oh you know big deal this this makes sense this is you've, you've seen pictures like this that are kind of panoramic views but it's a really hard kind of perspective idea to get to wrap your head around. And um, the, the reason for it is because you're, you're not thinking of perspective in straight lines. You're thinking of perspective not as, as a set of vanishing points, but as how much of I of visual real estate the object in front of you is taking. So you've got your eye, and your eye sees, you know, this cone, and larger objects appear larger, not because they are larger, but because they're closer, right? Mm -hmm. Well, if you look at how the eye sees things, then you start to understand that larger I items take up a bigger real estate in your eye. And that's why they are, or closer items take up a bigger real estate in your eye, and that's why they appear larger than smaller objects. So, you kind of start seeing, let me, let me section off a little chunk of space here to draw this in. So, so your eye actually kind of sees sort of like this. You see the, the one square, and there you go. It sort of curves a, just a little bit at the bottom, because you're really close to it. But off in the distance you have this other, this other box right there. 
and that's how this would look. See, it slightly curves. I don't know if you can see it. It just there's a slight little curve to it. It makes the picture look more organic than than the straight line thing. Because if this was done in straight lines, you would have you'd have the vanishing point here. You know, let's let's do a little sketching. You'd have the vanishing point right here. You'd have the And then you'd have, according to this, it would be kind of like this, and then go back here. It doesn't quite look right. It looks, well, it, it looks like it was done on a computer. <laughs> I, I will be honest, yes, it was done on a computer. The, the other reason why the curved line thing is kind of nice is because you start realizing that also a horizon is not straight. A horizon has a curve. And the higher up you get, the more of a curve there is because you're on a planet and the planet is not a plane. So you start drawing roads differently. Roads are more curved. Buildings go up and down more curved. There's still sort of a vanishing point, but it's more of a vanishing horizon. Anyway, so this is this is what I was trying to explain to my sister. <laughs> Yay. Anyway, uh, now Jody, do you know what this is called? Do you, you've you've probably read more art books than I have. I have no idea what it's called. I saw this on a YouTube video, and apparently the entire channel was taken down for copyright reasons because YouTube. But I thought this was really neat, and this actually kind of jump-started my, uh, my want to start drawing again last month. Uh, about the time when I said that I was going to stop the comic, I started getting more interested in drawing, which is sort of ironic. Anyway, so that's that's my curved perspective tutorial thing. I, I have I have done effort today. <laughs> Yay! Yay effort! Okay, mom. Right. Now, now you can come in. <laughs> <clears throat> and that's why you need Rob Liefeld to teach you perspective. Oh my God! <laughs> <laughs> 